Hello and welcome, and today I'm joined by Scott again. Hello. And today we're doing something a little bit different, and hopefully a little bit fun. We are going to be drawing characters based on their in-text descriptions. So why are we doing this again? The, the reason we're doing this is mm. to show how pointless or how little or how much you can get from these descriptions. It would be particularly interesting, for example, if we're both drawing the same description mm. and our characters look nothing alike. Yeah. We'll see how they come out, but my opinion is that these descriptions, including them in your text, is largely a waste of time, unless you get it mm. right. Which we will explain later on. Which we might well look at in a bit, yeah. I think we should, yeah. Right. <laughs> We've read the descriptions, and we're going to start to, to draw them. Yeah. And while we're doing that, you will hear the descriptions. Her long black hair was combed over her left shoulder and fell to her waist. Without it, she would have looked like a boy, since her face was long and narrow, her nose straight beneath serious dark eyes. She had high, rather pronounced cheekbones, and her cheeks arched inwards, emphasising the strong and regular contours of her mouth. Okay. So, I, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> We're doing the big reveal. Do you, yeah, do you want yeah. to show yours first, or shall we reveal them at the same time? Oh, yeah, do yeah, same time, go on. Yeah, yeah. one, <laughs> okay. two, three. three. Sorry, I was a bit slow there. Have we drawn the same person? Um, not really. They could be siblings. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not seeing the family resemblance. No, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm seeing a family resemblance between mine and Marilyn Manson. Yeah, mine looks a bit like Myra Hindley, actually, I think. Oh, a way to kill the moon. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that big poet no. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, I'm liking the serious eyes, but yeah. they seem like you've gone serious as melancholy. She looks sad, almost like she's so? about yeah. to cry, whereas yeah. mine is like yeah. stern. Yeah, I wanted to get the seriousness, but I've probably gone, I slipped into melancholy, whereas... It's in the eyebrows, I think. Yours yeah. are narrow, pointed. Definitely more serious. Yeah, definitely the way you bring the eyebrows down to make that sort of sterner look. Yeah. And uh, that's where mine is like, whereas yours has got that sort of curved look. If I was drawing it, somebody that's crying, I'd give them curved eyebrows. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, you've got serious dark eyes. Pretty Your good. one does look um, <laughs> emaciated. Which, yeah. fairly, yeah, I might actually be fairly true because these people are living uh, in the mountains during the war, they're refugees, so they probably oh, right. don't have a lot of food. But, <laughs> Context um, is everything, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've got to say yeah. that in terms of strong, regular contours of the mouth, yeah, that, that I'm going with mine is being Mine better. are a bit full, actually. I think I got yeah. carried away there. I think, uh, I think you fell in love with her the vulnerability <laughs> in the eyes. Yeah, and then she's to give her kissable lips. She's the one for me. Yeah, strong regular contour lips. <laughs> yeah, but to be honest with you, when I read that, emphasising the strong and regular contours of her mouth, I was thinking, what what does that even mean? What what you know? <laughs> what, I don't know because what does <laughs> does strong and regular mean the same thing? Like strong. Yeah. Like as in almost pronounced or strong as in they give the impression of physical strength yeah that you kind of like I don't know what they're going for there I found though reading that and trying to trying to draw anyway or trying to imagine what it was it was just hard anyway wasn't it yeah it's really hard I, I, I the only thing that came to me was yeah. um, the gyro captain from Mad Max oh, yeah. because the long thin face was immediately I was like oh right <laughs> yeah this would be the love child of Bruce Spence and Marilyn Manson <laughs> yeah. as a reader when you read that it's not to my taste really in terms of the description I find that just impossibly hard to imagine there's not enough context you're not getting enough emotion you're not getting enough sort of characterization. I would say with that uh, yeah I would say that you get nothing yeah because the words that, you're, that are in there like yeah. we've discussed the strong and regular contours we don't know what meaning of those words he's trying to use is he trying to impart in our minds this idea yeah. that she's physically strong or mentally strong mm. I would say from the text you could you would probably say at most mentally but even then you could argue against it because it's mm. a pretty weird character dark serious eyes or serious dark eyes what do you get from that <laughs> yeah. and again like are we talking about a facial projection of brooding mm. in serious dark or are you getting 
she's just got like dark brown eyes. No, it's ironic, isn't it? It's actually yeah. describing quite a lot, but it, it still leaves you not knowing really mm. much about them. If you just overly describe features, you're missing, I, I feel, like personality, context, even you know metaphors of the, like like yeah. the, the grander themes of the book. If you were trying to say, well, what sort of person is yeah. this from the description, mm. then you would perhaps say that you've got serious dark eyes and you've got sort of this strength and, and regular. So they were talking about somebody that's particularly ordinary mm. in terms of their their uh, culture or what they would accept as as the normal behaviour, mm. and that they would be physically strong perhaps, or mentally strong, and just quite serious, but that isn't what plays out in the text. No. So the second thing to consider yeah. is that this character is described again in this book from a different character's perspective. Mm. The initial one was the narrator's description, right? but the second one is filtered through in that this is the thoughts of one of the characters looking at her. Mm. So what we're going to do is not update our drawings, but do another drawing based on the second description. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That sounds cool. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready, right. Let's go. When he looked into her eyes, he understood why Marcel had said that her most striking feature was their colour. They were amazingly big and brown, dominating her face. Her slightly hollow cheeks were emphasised by strong cheekbones, though her face as a whole gave the impression of being very narrow, and her mouth too was narrow with a sharply drawn lip line. Ready? Three, two, yeah. one. <laughs> okay, in between picture one and two, your character died. He's been given undertakers and has been made up. I'll show them the... So pick one and two from the same book. Just a slightly different look there. <laughs> but let me, let me talk you through what I've done. Much bigger eyes. They dominate the face now. <laughs> They do. They certainly do. Amazingly big and brown eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Strong cheekbones again. Oh, you absolutely have. That's, that's a characteristic. That's a trait in the family, that. Yeah. They've got strong cheekbones. Uh, str and her family member is the guy in the painting of the screen by a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yeah. This is sister, yeah. And we've also got the extra description of being very narrow, her face, sorry. So her face yeah. is very narrow. I think I was concerned with as the artist of this yeah. <laughs> famous piece of work, <laughs> concerned to get the eyes right and the high cheekbones and the very narrow cheek. I think I've done that. Which one would you take out? Which one would I date? <laughs> well, number two looks like she's died, so definitely not her. I mean, this is how ludicrous these heavy descriptions are, aren't they? Look at what it does to your mind when you're reading. Yeah. <laughs> And to your mind when you're having horrendous nightmares yeah. tonight. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, so, so what have you done then, well, uh, Picasso? <laughs> see, this would be the first one. And yeah. there you can see that the second one has become narrower because the first one just said narrow face, but the second one said a very narrow face. So I've made the second one more narrow. She looks particularly angry in that one, I think. Yeah. Because it says that her eyes dominate her face yeah so these are strong angry dominating aggressive eyes yeah mine are a bit spooked they're, they're like I've just looked at my reflection eyes aren't they yeah <laughs> and when you haven't seen yourself for three months and you look in the mirror and go holy <laughs> that's what that is that's, yeah but again, it's the language that, that we're given by the author here, dominating her face. Does he just mean, oh yeah, they're really big? Yeah. Or does true. he mean that there's some emotional mm. domination happening? Yeah. That, or that this is a dominating character? Because if you're not getting any character, you're just getting a physical description, then, well, our people don't look alike. No. <laughs> the physical appearance of the person is not really what you're describing. Or it shouldn't be. Because yeah. it's irrelevant. You'd have to describe it so well. Mm. I mean, like, another another exercise to try, for example, might be to, to like, take Angelina Jolie. Or yeah, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Try and somebody describe. Who's, yeah, yeah, and then try and write down a description of them and give it to somebody and say, who have I described? Yeah. And I get, think that'd be really hard. Yeah. Unless you studied, what, is it physiognomy? Unless you did that. Well, you'd both have to. That's yeah. the point, is you'd both have to. Yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise, you'd have to give something along the lines of, uh, 
you know, he's like Mr. Universe, and he's, yeah. or he was, he played a killer cyborg, and then you'd be like, right, <laughs> okay, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. Without that, you'd be like, how do you describe the ch- even the chin of Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah. It's like very, quite pronounced and strong, but so are a lot of people's. That's true. That doesn't mean even square or more rounded or whatever, which is just so hard to describe somebody. Do you think you need to just maybe like pick one or two if you were going to describe somebody? Just like, I don't know, long dark hair, yeah, I mean, brown eyes and kind of leave it at that, do you think? And yeah. do you think the reader would do enough filling in the blanks? Yeah, I think do? you absolutely want the reader to fill yeah. in as many of the blanks as possible because mm. the more you give, the more you end up with this sort <laughs> of thing. You end up with this. Yeah, and you just... <laughs> Yeah. If you said with that, she would have looked like a boy. I wouldn't use that because it's we're talking, strange terms. We're talking yeah. about the character's love interest for a start. That's just like, <laughs> yeah. no, I wouldn't use that. Yeah. Um, face long and narrow probably wouldn't say that. No. Because then some people would be like, it doesn't sound very attractive. Yeah, Whereas you it's might not want much, your character yeah. to be attractive, particularly mm. if it's the love interest, like like these are. Mm. So it's just, what do you include? I don't think that I would include any of what has been written here. No. Because it's just, it's all just weird. What, what's a rather pronounced <laughs> cheekbone? weird. Yeah. And a narrow face. Mm. I mean, the, the, the one sentence I suppose is pretty okay is the, when he looked into her eyes, he understood why Marcel had said that her most striking feature was their colour. I think that's the only... Yeah. I wouldn't even include they were amazingly big and brown. No, the amazingly big and brown is a bit Disney, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little mini. <laughs> I don't even like amazingly, I think it's awful. Yeah, amazingly. But again, that's like an, an adverb that's, what's that going to do for you? Very narrow. I wouldn't use that either. No, that's I, I, You right. might say, um, if, you, if, you were, if I was taking something out of this, I would go, like you say, when he looked into her eyes, he understood why my service said they were her most striking feature. That's why I would have gone with that there. I wouldn't have mentioned the colour. Mm. Could if you wanted to. Yeah. I wouldn't have said anything about hollow cheeks. And maybe strong cheekbones if your character is somebody you want to portray as strong. Mm. You know, they're like strong-willed, physically strong. Yeah. Use that word, otherwise don't. And then I wouldn't say very narrow and a mouth with a very narrow with a sharply drawn lip line. I wouldn't use any of that. I would yeah. Just, I would probably just say she had dark hair, dark eyes. Yeah. And... And move on. I that would be about it. Which, it, in my yeah. video on facial descriptions, brings us very have much... Have you got one on facial descriptions? I have, yeah. Why have I not seen that? You were in it. Which one is that, then? It was a rewriting bad books on the Da Vinci Code. Oh, yeah, it was that one. Yeah. <laughs> I was sort of in it. Yeah, no, you are in it. You <laughs> just don't contribute very much. <laughs> So yeah, that would be your Murray Linkster would give you no detail. Robert mm. Heinlein would give you their six foot and blonde. Right. That sort of thing. Yeah. Which I think if you're not going to use your description to portray character mm. is all you want. But this is, yeah, amazingly, uh, but, yeah. sharply, very... There's lots of intensifying sort of language here and it's just... But the intensifying language mm. leads you to become a character. Caricaturist. <laughs> You tend to not want to use that intense language because you don't want a caricature, you want mm. a character. So I think we're building up quite a nice picture of of why you probably wouldn't want to go mad with your descriptions. No. Because <laughs> it that doesn't would... help your writing, does it? If your character's nose mm. is relevant to your story, then describe then, it. Then put it in, yeah. You know, if, if yeah. he tries to go and describe his nose, for example, and somebody recognises him on the... Sh- because of his enormous nose, then your nose is relevant to your story. It needs to be described. Yeah, that's true. That's right. It's a bit like Chekhov's gun. Yeah. If, if you don't, be, if yeah. you don't need it, don't describe it. That's right. Yeah. That's probably the only advice you need, isn't it? Well, no, actually, there's lots of advice. <laughs> go up and go on then. Her long black hair was combed over her left shoulder and fell to her waist. Without it, she would have looked like a boy, since her face was long and narrow her nose straight beneath serious dark eyes. She had high, rather pronounced cheekbones, and her cheeks arched inwards, emphasising the strong and regular contours of her mouth. When he looked into her eyes, he understood why Marcel had said that her most striking feature was their colour. 
They were amazingly big and brown, dominating her face. Her slightly hollow cheeks were emphasised by strong cheekbones, though her face as a whole gave the impression of being very narrow, and her mouth too was narrow with a sharply drawn lip line.